we're here today to welcome Discovery, the first of the space shuttles to be delivered to a museum. And we're really excited. We've been waiting for this for the last year and even longer. It's, it's really bittersweet. I'm so happy to see it, but at the same time, you, 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 there's kind of a finality there. The space shuttle is the most complex spacecraft ever attempted. It was a combination of a rocket, a spacecraft, a glider. Uh, for the first time, it had wings and wheels so that it can come back and land on a runway. There was a sense that it might be possible to fly a shuttle mission every week. And the sense of the economy of spaceflight was based on those very optimistic predictions. It sounds like a no-brainer that reusing a spacecraft would make it cheaper. As it turned out, re the reusability feature made it more expensive because after it lands, you have all of these thousands of systems and lines that have to be tested and pressurized and drained and checked. It turned out to be much more difficult than anybody ever anticipated. The Columbia accident convinced me and I think many other people, that it was time to retire the shuttle. The shuttle is aging, it is high risk, and two accidents and you know a little over a hundred flights, uh, that's not very good odds. The shuttle is still the most awesome, fantastic transportation system ever existed. Well, Discovery is an icon of shuttle space flight. This is uh, the next in the line of spacecraft that are held in the collection of the Smithsonian. Discovery looks as if it's been to space and back 39 times, and that's exactly how it should look. And that's the way the Smithsonian wants to keep it looking.